A single case of COVID can ignite the spread of coronavirus across a hospital, infecting vulnerable patients and staff alike. That's what scientists found when they investigated a deadly outbreak at St. Augustine's Hospital in Durban, South Africa, during March and April. They sifted through medical records, visited the hospital's wards, interviewed healthcare workers, and conducted an analysis of DNA sequencing and swab samples to craft a detailed timeline of the virus's spread. They suspect the virus spread by respiratory droplets and from passing around objects like a stethoscope or thermometer. At the time, though, scientists had not yet agreed that airborne transmission of the virus was common. The virus also appeared to spread when they moved patients between hospital wards. So how did this play out in real time? A patient who had recently traveled from Europe arrived in the emergency room. The 38-year-old male experiencing respiratory symptoms got screened before being sent to a triage room for assessment. This was the hospital's first COVID case. About two hours later, a patient suffering from a suspected stroke arrived by ambulance and was placed in the bed across from the entrance to the triage room. The same doctor that assessed the COVID patient while wearing personal protective equipment also checked out the stroke patient. After the COVID patient left the ER, the stroke patient was transferred to the cardiac ICU. Six days later, the 81-year-old experienced COVID symptoms, later testing positive and ultimately passing away. Over the next eight weeks, the hospital confirmed 119 COVID cases, 80 staff members and 39 patients. Five were readmitted to other hospitals and another five were discharged, only to be contacted and recalled when their symptoms matched COVID-19. 15 of the 39 patients who caught the coronavirus died. Among the staffers who tested positive, more than three quarters were nurses and student nurses. A large portion of the patients who tested positive spent time in multiple wards. The stroke patient, for example, moved among five locations within the hospital. In the medical ICU, where almost a third of the infected nurses work, the patient spent five days while symptomatic, initially in a shared open space before being moved into an isolated cubicle. A second symptomatic patient followed the same trajectory. Nine other patients later became infected too. Notably, the researchers did not detect any healthcare worker infections in the COVID ICU, perhaps because patients there were less infectious or because PPE was used, the study said. 